everyone and thank you for hanging out with me for this review. This review is going to be for two lip glosses and these two are ones that I recently picked up in a haul of mine and it is one of them is a brand that is called Lip Luster which well actually that's not the brand that is that well it's by Femme Couture. Um, I don't know how, if it's going to, it's probably not going to focus, I don't know if it will, um, but down at the bottom here it says Femme Couture, and it, it says by that brand it's called Lip Luster, and it's from Sally's, and with that particular brand they have um, foundations, mineral powders, uh, lipsticks, glosses, polishes, and I was kind of eager to try the brand, um, and this was $7, and I really like this one because um, I think it in my haul video, it reminded me of that one that I seen at Sephora. It's like, I think the brand is Lorac, which I haven't purchased any of their glosses, but I really want it to the last time I was there. But this one kind of has that shimmer of, it's got like the purples um, and the copper colors. And actually, this particular color actually does say Copper Frost. Now, I started off, I want to start off reviewing this one, and I'm also going to review um, the Revlon um, Pearl Plum. I started off wanting to review this one because this is a lighter color and I already have this one actually um, on my lips. So let me see if if when I zoom in, if the light is okay. Now as you can see, the it's very pretty. Um, it absolutely is not sticky. Um, there is no color though to this. So um, I want it to wear it just natural. So I want you guys to see it, you know, without it having... Um, you know any color to it whatsoever so it's more of a total total um, you know natural um, color so it doesn't provide which I knew when I got it, it wasn't going to provide color but I just wanted to see how much sparkle that it would provide and actually um, not that I'm trying to compare these two because that's not what this video is about it's, it's not about doing a comparison but with actually looking at the two um, with the sparkle that this one has and this one they're both quite comparable with the texture, the feel, and the sparkle. Um, you know, some of these Revlon ones actually um, have sparkle. This one does, but not all of them do. So the sparkle um, on this one is is pretty good. Um, I don't know that um, how how that I like to review products and compare them is. I usually like to give it um, a, a scale from you know on a scale from one to ten. Um, this to me, um, I would give it probably like, I'll give it like an 8. I give this one an 8. Um, I don't know if I would recommend it to someone with, actually I would rate this one higher than I would rate this one, definitely. Um, the reason why is this one has a little bit more stand power to me, um, and it just overall has a, um, to me, has more of a lustrous feel more than the Revlon. And actually, this does seem like it's a comparison video, but that's not what the intentions are. But it has a more lustrous feel. Um, it does say lip luster, but um, it to me just overall has um, the quality that feels thicker, um, and I like that with my lip glosses. I don't like thin lip glosses when I put them on that they feel like they're almost have a watery feel. Not watery, not really watery, but a very thin layered um, lip gloss feel. And even I've noticed with high brand name lip glosses, um, it isn't always about spending a lot of money because I've bought high end lip glosses and they're not as thick and. Um, luxurious and, and lustrous and you know that type of feeling if you if I'm making sense to anyone out there um, that's what I look for when I look for um, quality lip gloss I'm not looking at the dollar point I'm looking at how it lasts how that it feels um, some of them are sticky um, certain brands but I don't mind a sticky lip gloss it doesn't bother me however on a windy day I will not put a sticky lip gloss on um, I did wear this one, you know, worn these two particular ones out in the past couple of days where out here it has been windy um, and um, it hasn't been too bad. Um, but overall, this one I do like. I do like this brand. Um, it was $7. I think that the price is well with it, is worth the $7. Um, they did have other colors. Um, I do think that it's worth the $7. I think they're worth buying for that price. So, and the only reason why that I did give it the 8 is because in order for it to hit that really high mark for me, it has to be a long wearing. And and to me, this still doesn't rate in my high category mark, whereas in my Bobbi Brown and along those lines, you know, that sort of brand, 
those are those high ones that stay on for hours and hours and hours that you don't have to retouch up and if you eat they're not going to come off so easily whereas in this particular type this one does come off you know rather easy um but overall this is a very nice lip gloss and even over top of another lip over top of a lipstick it's very pretty you can put over a dark color a lighter shade and it really is pretty it gives it that sparkle without it looking um glitter sparkly if you know what i mean it just gives it that soft um very you know soft glitter uh effect if you can see that on my lips okay so and you guys if the lighting is kind of weird it's i adjust at my camera and it's like all this light is coming right here so I'm, i don't know when i upload the video if that's going to come but it's like it's probably from the window too so i'm learning with my videos to work on the lighting but again i'm in a different place and not in the room that i was in prior to my um relocation and moving and everything so do you guys just bear with me i'm going to get better at this but for now um i just kind of have to bear with it for right now until i get myself situated okay so i do think this one is worth you buying go and try it check it out um it's a nice one um i definitely like this a lot um i will definitely maybe go back and pick another color they didn't have a huge variety of these colors though i'm gonna let you know i want to say they maybe have five or six and maybe that could vary depending on location, but so anyways, just throw it out there. Okay, with the Revlon Lustrous, now theirs is Revlon Lustrous Lip Gloss. This, you guys may already know about this one. I'm kind of past due on doing this little review for this. And um, if I talk kind of quickly, it's because I'm going to probably run out of time. Um, but there's a couple of things that I want to add into this video to bring up about lip gloss. But anyways, um, this one is the Pearl Plum. Now, as you can see, it's a very rich color. Um, it looks really rich if you if you look at it like this. Okay, like some of that. I think I have the backlight onto this camera. That's why it's doing that. But this is a, it looks really dark if you if you look at it. Okay, looks pretty dark. One little quick thing for those of you who don't know about lip glosses. Um, primarily, I'm gonna say this for lip gloss. When you get lip glosses and if they don't say cream and it's just a gloss and it's not more of a cream based or does it say high pigment high pigmented color, count on it going two or three shades lighter than the actual color because I'll get I'll show you a swatch of this. Okay, see how thick and rich that looks? But once you spread it, once you spread it out, do you see that? It you know that backlight in there is really a problem. Okay, but anyways, see how it goes on and it looks thinner? Okay, so that's kind of going on with that. But the reason why I put that other one on first is so I can wipe it off. And I could show you because, see, that one is much lighter. You can't see it. So I wanted to start off doing a review on that one. And as you can see, my natural lip color. Here's my natural lip color. Okay, my natural lip color already has, like, some color so when I put this on I thought it was going to be really dark but like I said I kind of expected that it was going to be you know lighter than the actual um color of this so let me go ahead and put this on it just enhances to me my natural color gonna look in the mirror up here okay so there we go Overall, this is a pretty color. Okay. Now, this may surprise some of you, but I'm going to rate this one. I give it a 7.5. Um, I give it an 8 for the color, but to me, um, it seeps down here. It does bleed a little bit, and I don't really have no issues with a bunch of you know fine lines or that my lips are too thin. Um, I find that wearing this throughout the day, that it does kind of seep in the lines of your lips, and if, you, if you're doing a lot of talking, which is... That's me, you know, when I meet people or talking to people. So, I mean, this is, you know, what can I say about it? It's it's pretty color and it is nice, but do I think it's worth $7? Yes, I think it's worth $7. I wouldn't spend more than that for this. Um, people have rated this very kind of high and a lot of good things. I'm not saying it's a bad one, but I expect it more from Revlon. Um, I think this one is better in the quality. Um, this, I just think that it, the stand power for me is not as good. When I accidentally touch it or if I just drink off a glass, it immediately comes off. And um, the stain power is not good. And I wouldn't suggest this brand, I mean this particular one, for anyone who has thin lips or you have fine lines or definitely deep lines around your lips, I don't recommend this one because I think that it would seep too much. Um, you would need a thicker, lustrous one. So 
Um, anyways, with that being said, this is my review for these products. And check them out if you're interested. It won't hurt. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.